Ultimate Gardeners. Welcome back to the Ultimate Gardening channel. I'm Emmanuel Arce, the Ultimate Gardener. In today's exciting spotting video, it's time for another July garden tour. And so I am trying to keep on top of filming garden tours every single month. And so hopefully we'll be able to do that. But occasionally there might be, you know, some months that I won't be able to. But I'm going to try my best to do that. Um, but before we get into this video on the July uh, garden tour, um, I want to give a huge shout out to the famous photographer out there, very funny and very talented, Jordan Matters. So he is helping me a lot. I was featured on his video he posted today. And so if you're joining us newly on this channel, uh, thanks to him. Um, welcome to everybody. This is a gardening channel. I am a 14 year old gardener um, that tries to inspire to get other people to get into gardening and I show the beauty in the garden and I do a lot of care guides, a lot of tutorials, a lot of plant showcases. I work with multiple different companies so you'll be seeing a little bit of everything here and there. And so once again a huge shout out to him. Uh, he's helping us grow and so we'll see what goes on. So let me go ahead and jump right into this garden. So it's main gardeners. Here is the first or main entrance of the garden. We have two pots flanking the entrance and a middle arc going around. And so on this arc, we have two beautiful red mandevilla vines that Tropical Plants of Florida sent me. And then we have crepe myrtles and a lot of things on these pots. These were 4th of July inspired. And so, yeah, so opening up the gate, you'll see that the garden is looking pretty nice right now we have a lot of topics to go through so we're gonna go ahead and stop in every single one so the first thing i wanted to show you guys is this so we're thinking i'm thinking this is a morning glory because it looks very similar to one but here we have the piggy suit irises going all around the edges as a border and then we have the golden dorset apple tree right here i already harvested all the apples and so hopefully everything comes out good we have a passion vine right there that i wanted to originally vine over here but let's see who you know wins the fence then we have this beautiful greenhouse that a good friend of mine over there on bluegrass homestead channel so if you guys could go support them that would be amazing and so here it is uh one table's missing because if you guys don't know we do a local plant sale every saturday and sunday and so the plant was taken out and so we have a lot of you know gorgeous things in here going along this is technically a storage area we have a random okra growing i don't know how but we have the dahlias i started very exciting and so let's go ahead and move on to the next area so to my gardeners the next area is literally right next to the greenhouse so here this is a tropical container i did and I wanted to do the garden tour because there's a lot of flowers in bloom right now. Look at that beauty. Oh, I absolutely love it. Then we have this area. This is a new garden bed that was installed. We have the Heartbreaker Hibiscus that's in full bloom. Early Wonder Camellia. Then we have ground orchids, uh, elephant ears, purple fountain grasses, a few roses. If you see most plants are in pots, it's because those are are thought to be planted in there. We have zinnias and cosmos growing here. Chinese fringe flower. So then this is the original structure that was here, the ultimate shade house. We, this is to show, uh, store shade loving plants. And so moving here, this is the also oh easy sunny knockout rose. Look at that beauty. I absolutely love it. Then this is the Viva Paulina Clematis that Great Garden Plants sent me. Um, but it's not a uh, vining out. I don't know why, but you know, we'll see. Rico Sabe Hibiscus. A pink canna lily in a bloom. Very pretty. So let's go ahead and move on to the next so area. So Ultimate Gardeners, this is the next area right here. This is the new veggie garden that was installed. The squash plants are getting pretty crazy from the last time I showed you guys. We have potato plants growing in the grow bags. We have the sweet potato grow bag right there that is going to grow. Um, I made a video on that, so make sure to go check it out. A lot of things going up here. We just made a video on how to mulch your veggie garden. Then the next area is the Magi Dome. So this was a structure gifted to me by, of course, Magi Dome. We have giant moonflowers uh, going on. I wanted to show you guys something. I don't know if you can see that, but let me see if I could get the camera to focus. These are all buds, very exciting. Going in here, you can see we have a few plants laying here it's because I still am working in this area, figuring out what's the final plants for this one. And then look at this. 
This is the Pink Chiffon Rose of Sharing. This has put on so many growth and a lot of blooms. As you can tell, a lot of blooms there. I'm very, very pleased with how this is going. So let's move on to the final area. So to my gardeners, we're in the final area right here. So this is the gladiola patch. Um, a lot of things are fading out. And so I'm gonna definitely make a video on how to dig up gladiola bulbs. A new gardenia bush uh, border installed. A few plants here that I decided to store here. We have the Xenia patch. This is looking very pretty. I absolutely love how this project came out. My favorite Xenia of all of them is this beauty right here. Oh, I very, very love it. Then we have more plants stored in here. We have a pepper plant here and then more things over there. I wanted to show you guys Rebecca cause like there's a lot of new people here. This is my favorite plant in the garden right now because of this. Look at that. I'm in love with this. This is a hardy hibiscus. Absolutely love the color of the foliage. Absolutely love the bloom colors. Like, don't get me wrong. This is huge. Like, compared to the size of my hand, it's almost the size of my hand. Ooh, very pretty. Absolutely love it. So let me go ahead and wrap it up for you guys. So to my gardeners, that's going to be it for this exciting spawning video. Once again, a huge thank you to Jordan Matter for... Uh, making like helping me out that means a ton to me and Jordan Matter is an amazing photographer very talented very funny and does a lot of challenges very absolutely love his channel you should go check it out link link his links are down below for you guys to check out and so thank you all for joining us on this video that's the July garden tour for this month there'll be a, a garden tour every single month so you can see the progress of the garden so thank you all so much for watching this video if you like this video make sure to hit that like button and if you want to support my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you want to get notified when a new exciting spawning video comes out just like this one make sure to hit that bell notification button so you get notified when a new exciting spawning video comes out thank you all so much for watching and never forget to grow big ultimate gardeners bye guys